Hello friends, I am Hardik Patel. Welcome back to Django tutorial. In last video, we will learn about Django template filter. And also we created our own custom filter that is upper. So what upper filter was doing, it was just changing that string into the upper case, all the characters, right? And also we ask for an argument if you want to pass like if you want only first five characters then you can just pass as name n is equal to five okay and in this video what we are going to learn that is similar to django fil template filter that is django template tag so you might have used already inbuilt django template tags like extends block for if these all are django template tag but they are built in by django itself so now if you want to create your own custom template tag what you need to do similar to filter you need to write a function inside this tag library that is we have built this one inside the template tags we have built one pole extras.py and inside that you just need to write one function and you need to register that function as a template tag so that's very simple and similar and how we can use that custom template tag that you need to just load this library in any html where you want to use and just call your template tag the function name as a template tag and you pass argument if you want and then you can go through the other execution right it's very simple i will show you how can we use this okay let's see so this is pole extras.py in which i am going to create one custom template tag okay let me show first purpose or where we are going to use this template tag so this is our list of employees and this in sidebar in this side space i have just made some custom customization in this html i have just pushed or maybe make it smaller right this one and i just make some space for showing some recent pools right which are added so right now we have only two polls so we can show all two or maybe you want to show only one recent poll that's up to us so to make it dynamic we will also add one argument that is n n is equal to maybe we will make default 5 or something right so let's do that and let's create one template tag and we will use that okay so let's write a function df and then recent polls okay inside that you can pass the argument maybe default zero but zero is not good thing if you are not passing then it will not return anything so make it five so it's a default i'm just writing one documentation for this return recent polls n polls okay then what do you need to do i have already imported this question model you just need to get all the objects objects dot all and now this is as uh, this is recent polls so far you need to do some sorting here like using order by function this query set has a order by function available inside that it ask accepts the argument like in a string and field name so what is the field name created at right so if you pass this created at it will give you by so uh, sorting by created at in an ascending order but in ascending order it will give us first uh, oldest poll but in our case we need latest one so to do that making it descending order you just need to pass minus okay so these are all objects questions and just end what we need to do we just need to return n objects right so return questions and this slicing you need to use 0 to n okay this is very simple some function now what you need to do this function you need to register as a template tag so what we did for filter register dot filter and then inside that first argument was a name and second argument was the function 
but if you don't want to use this kind of function you can use decorator as well like this at the rate and then register dot simple tag you can use tag and simple tag both right so simple tag and one more argument it can accept that is name but if you want to pass then only pass because this name if you pass name and you want to change name of template tag other than this function name then you can pass that otherwise this function name itself will act as a template tag okay so now our template tag is registered now we are ready to use this function into the template let's use this in template so this is our index.html of employee where we have written code to list down this all the employees right and this is 12 grid uh, 12 column grid and we have used 8 columns for list of employees and other 4 columns I have used for I have spared actually now I am going to use this for showing recent polls another thing so this same HTML I am going to use but in a smaller space right it will show instead of list of polls we will just make a title recent polls and we will show the title of those polls so I think writing our own HTML instead of writing our own HTML what need to do we will just use this polled HTML and just I will copy paste right okay ready and now instead of this question or title okay sorry it's a wrong snippet I have keep poll or instead of poll yes this one index or html of poll application right okay instead of list of title we will just write this is sent polls okay okay now this html is ready it's almost similar to this index or html but in that case we are getting this questions object from the context but in employees html we don't have questions object available in the context so how can we get that we don't want to change this view of employee and we don't want to uh, add these questions from that but instead of that i want to get this kind of objects using template tag so we need to include this library poll extras which you can use load similar to that similar we did for filter right we loaded this poll extras library like this load template tag and then name of library so it will load all the filters and template tags in this html now you can use those both but we want to use only template tag in our case right now so so use for writing the template tag the syntax is similar for inbuilt and custom both so write down into the calibration percentage now you need to write the name of template tag first so what is that recent underscore polls okay so it will return the list right so and how can we use that those objects we cannot directly use this but instead of that you can just use as parameter as is a keyword and just give the name of variable which you want to assign so questions so now whatever this function will return it will assign to questions object so now this code will work as it is because this questions has the same same values because it is coming from the same model right so but we haven't passed any argument so it will return all five if we have otherwise whatever we have it will return us only two pools because in model in our database we have only two pools okay now let's refresh this page it's very simple right these two pools are available now same html i have used same logic like this if questions is available then i am listing down this all the questions using this 
also i have created one dynamic url using url template tag if there is no question available that means list is given blank then i am just writing down this let me show that if i pass zero it will give me blank array so automatically this there is no question available statement will be printed let's see right there is no question available or there is no poll available like this okay but now if i use this one that means it will respond back with one question and it will show only one right and it is also working the urls are also working right so now you understand how we can build our own custom template tag and how we can use in our html right now another thing i want to uh, explain that is yeah one more thing i wanted to say that yeah this extends template tag must be at the top and then you need to write this load if you write this load first it will give you an error like this extends load extends this must be the first tag in the template right it says that tag so now you understand that right this is again it's a template tag okay now i am changing back to our own now it's working all right now i want to explain one more thing that is instead of this just positional argument you can ask for keyword arguments as well like star star ew args okay and in that case let me show uh, name is equal to kwargs dot get then name if name is not given then i will just say argument is not passed okay and now i am printing this name so you, we will be able to see in the console okay server is started now i am refreshing the page without passing that argument okay and now let's see into the console argument is not passed but if i pass the argument it should print whatever i have passed so how can we pass the keyword argument here just like this simple name first position argument you need to pass and then only you can pass keyword arguments like name is equal to hardik patel but if you want to pass space separated then you need to use this double quote okay now let me refresh this page now you can see hardik patel okay so now you are uh, able to understand right so how can we build our own custom template tag with positional argument and keyword arguments so now you are ready and plus please practice this in your project as well okay so that's it for this video if you have like this video please like comment and share also please subscribe my channel and i am going to add more and more videos regarding django as well as other technologies like angular also i am I'm going to build the series for that. So thank you for watching.